Hey guys, today I'm here to do Empire Season 2 Episode, I think this is 10, yeah. Um, oh, I'm back, y'all see, I'm back, my hair back, I'm just saying, oh, y'all don't even know. I, I love the weave and everything, but I love my natural hair, I just do. Um, but anyway, it was, this episode was like this to me. It, it had a, it's good and bad moments on this episode, but it was a winter finale, so I think it's not coming back on till March, I believe, so, hey, um, I could take this break, I, I, I'm good with it. Um, it starts off with Jason Derulo announcing the nominees for the ASA Awards, I think it was called, it was, yeah, American Sound Awards, so, he looked at cute too. Yo, Jason, you look the cute. But, yeah, they're doing these nominees all through the episode. Um, Like, you get sprinkles here and there all through the day. They're going to be announcing nominees. So, you have Becky, Andre, and Lucius at Empire talking about the nominees and how it's going to be streaming all day because at the Empire, this, because of Empire's artist is being nominated. Whatever. So, but Lucius ain't worried about that. Lucius basically worried about the streaming service and making the announcement with the streaming company and all that kind of stuff. Um, we also find out that Lucius been nominated for um some ASA awards, but never won. That's what he told us. He never won. Let me put these notes in front of me. So, um. Jamal end up getting nominated for R and B artist, I guess. I think that's what it was. It was R and B. He ended up. Let me just go and get this shit out the way. He ended up getting nominated for a couple of awards. Like, um, he. I think he said he ended up getting five awards, but then he ended up getting nominated for like two more awards after he had said that he got five awards. So I was like, you know, congratulations, kudos to Jamal. Must have been the songs from last season, because I'm just saying. Um, Hakeem is at the office doing business as usual, but they lost the venue, I think it was. They lost the venue for the Cookies cook, um, Cookout because they are a security risk ever since, oh boy, and she a, a Cookie apologized to for bringing a promoter in or whatever, but they can't worry about that right now. Cookie wants Hakeem to work with her at the prison thing. Um, she's gonna put on a show at the prison for her home girl, you know, the Rosie O'Donnell character, you know, she told her last time that she would come go to the prison or whatever. And then she wants to see her home girl Jazzy anyway. I think it was called Family Day. It was called Family Day or something like that. So I was like, okay, this is cool. I you know, I'm all about giving back and showing your support regardless of where they where women come from. And Y'all remember back in the day, Monique had made a killing off that damn comedy damn tape she had did in the women's prison. So, I wasn't mad at Cookie for this one. Then you got Jamal and Sky. They at the house. Sky all up on him, thinking it's about to be something. And he looking at her like, damn, bitch, we fucked. But it ain't like that. But when he was about to tell her, because they was getting ready to go to Charlemagne party, I said, hmm... Y'all may be talking shit, but he sure got a damn role on Empire. I wasn't mad. Him and Angela Lee. I wasn't mad. Everybody be making appearances on Empire, so get in where you fit in. Um, But Lucius overhears Sky call him babe. So now Lucius is all excited, thinking Jamal not gay no more, thinking that she fixed Jamal. And I'm like, fixed him? Okay. People and they dumbass theories of fixing gay people. Okay. But um, he still tell his, because he was like, his, Lucius was like, are you hitting that? And he was like, I'm still gay. I was like, well, technically, you're a little on the bisexual side. But we'll let you have it. <laughs> okay. Because you can't keep telling me that you're gay and you keep dipping on in the pussy it, it just don't work like that jamal i'm sorry jamal was gay for sky jamal was gay for um olivia remember when raven simone was playing his um ex-girl or whatever so he dabbled into her too so i'm just saying like i you know well i'll get to it 
I just was looking at him with a side eye. But, um, yeah, Lucius was happy about that. So then Lucius and Mimi is having this meeting of talking about the board. And he popping off about the board. And I'm looking at him like, do you see her recording you? Because the whole time she got this pen like this. She got the pen like this. The whole time she talking to him. And I'm sitting there like, he's so fucking arrogant and stupid that he don't even see this girl over here taping him. But she was talking about, you know, he was talking about cleaning the house and all this kind of stuff. And she was talking about her wife was coming into town and all this kind of stuff. So, that was cool. Angela Yee is introducing Tiana at Charlemagne's party. I'm sorry. But the whole time Tiana was uh, singing... All I could think about was Rihanna's song, Cake, Cake, Cake. It sounded just like that to me. Like, I'm not here for it. I, I, I think Tiana got talent, but I just be feeling like they be trying to market her like Rihanna, and this shit ain't working for me. Um, You know, I did like how they came out on the little hoverboards and stuff like that. Okay, I, I said something nice. Um, Sky and Jamal perform. Power, that powerful song. This time, I really enjoyed that song. I don't know why. I mean, last time when they kissed, it kind of threw me off from the song. But um, I enjoyed this song a lot. Like, if you really listen to the words, I really enjoyed this song. But after they performed the song or whatever, um, Charlamagne comes out. And he started questioning them about, you know, them singing and their music and stuff like that. But then things kind of went left when he start, because he start asking them questions, and then he asked Sky, oh, you black now? And I'm like, well, damn. So apparently, she don't hang with the hip-hop side. She more of pop, so um, she get flat from the black community for going pop. And I'm sitting there like, for real, Charlamagne, really? And I understand, you know, when you out there in the industry... You subject yourself for these questions. But I was just like, really, Charlemagne, when you trying to get up on the light side? But it's a character. It's a character. I ain't going to go too hard on Charlemagne, but I was just like, for real. But, um, yeah, then he gets on Jamal talking about, are you gay? And Jamal was like, yeah. So I was just like, oop, kind of put a little damper on you, Sky, but okay, whatever. So then they were talking about being bisexual and is he gay or is it a matter of convenience? And I totally get that. I totally get that question because, Jamal, that is what you've been showing us. Like, are you gay or is it a matter of convenience? I, I really do that because, you know, in no shade, but, you know, they say gay people popping right now. So did you use that storyline to sell your records? Or you, you I mean, well, no, because he, he was fucking with Michael, like, hard. So... Like I said, I think he bi. I don't think he's fully gay. I think he's bisexual because he's attracted and he will get down with a woman. Like, come on. Um. Anyway, that kind of just irritated me with Charlemagne just questioning him like that. Then Sky Manager could get pissed off at Lucius or whatever, but he feel like she could turn it around with a different crowd when she performed at the streaming service or whatever. So I was like, okay. That bitch was like, y'all got me all on Twitter looking like Rachel Dozar, whatever her name is. I fell out. I said, oh, they clowning. They clowning. But okay. Then she asked Jamal why he didn't defend her. Is it because he gay or something? And I'm sitting there like, um, was you there? Because I was there and he was defending you when they start first going at you. So I don't understand where she was coming from from that. But whatever. Andre and Rhonda, they at home preparing for the nursery. Onika come by, and he's like, what the hell she want? But he do understand that she ain't got nobody. Her, his family dogged her out. Okay. Jamal go to this Pepsi commercial thing, and um, his is that his publicist? I don't know what that man is. The man that don't like Lucius. He was questioning him about being openly gay and how, you know, he's promoting openly gay artists and that's what the man is doing right now so he's pumping jamal up and all this kind of stuff and then they show jamal's pepsi commercial which we wasn't able to see i don't know did i blink too hard did y'all see it i don't know i was like damn did i blink like what happened to the commercial but anyway so lucius and the um publicist they going back and forth about 
being nominated, getting the award, just throwing digs at each other. And Lucius hit that motherfucker was like, um, you know Jamal got a girlfriend? Like, boop. Why are you talking about he gay? He got a girlfriend. I was like, Lucius is petty. But I was here for it. He was real petty. Um, Cookie and her sis her assistant go, Portia, I think that's her name. Is that her name, Portia? I just called her the ghetto girl. But I love her. I love that girl. I like her character. They go to the prison, right? And 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 Cookie's having all these memories about when she was in there. And she was, like, having a hard time going in because it's painful to, you know, have like, all them flashbacks and knowing you were stuck in there and stuff like that. So I get it. So they ask her, was Portia her wifey? Portia start going off about she only do sausage and all this kind of shit. Like, bitch, no, strictly dickly, nope. Not this way. Not gonna happen. Mm-mm. I was cracking up. I love her character. So then the warden comes up or whatever. Um, because they was asking her who was she bringing. And the warden comes up and was like, she only could bring one camera, one, two artists, and her assistant. So then she asked about her friend Jazzy. And they was, the warden was like, she don't want to see you. She don't want to talk to you. Yada, yada, yada. Apparently she ended up getting more time, a life sentence or something for killing her roommate. And all this kind of stuff. So... Cookie feel bad because I guess that was apparently her role dog up when she was in prison. So, um, Anika gives Rhonda this baby gift and they're talking about Lucius and how Lucius is so obsessed with the baby and how he called the baby his heir and all this kind of stuff. And then she gets a phone call. Then Anika look all pissed off like, bitch, please. Like, she got jealous and irritated all in one. Um... Sky performed at the Empire little thing, streaming thing. And while she performing, Lucius was all excited talking about, I see what you, I see why you like her or whatever. Jamal over there, he go to the bar, he start flirting with some dude. And while he flirting with the dude, Sky up there performing and she can't focus because she's so busy getting pissed off and jealous that Jamal flirting with old boy. I'm sitting there like, girl, you knew. You knew what you was getting yourself into. Back up. But anyway, Lucius announced the streaming service, and he introduced Mimi. And this is where I was kind of getting my life. I really was. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I was getting my life on this one. Because y'all know I'm Team Cookie, so I don't give a fuck. Um, he called her his business partner in crime. And she was like, yeah, I've never heard that before. And she's thanking everybody. She's thanking the board. And she's procrastinating. And then she was like, yeah, I know I'm battling cancer. And I would like to thank the person that's been there for me, been my rock, been my this, been my that. And introduce Camilla. I fell over. I said, I'm so here for this. Y'all don't even know. I'm sorry. I, I'm not here for Lucian. So when Camilla walked in and he did what he now I ain't here for Camilla and Hakeem relationship either. That's for damn sure. But I was so here for Camilla walking in there and seeing Lucia's face. It was everything. It was priceless for me. I was here for it. So she talks about how um she blasts him basically. <laughs> she just basically blasts him. Cause they end up having a meeting. Right after that. And she basically blasted him with the board member. Showed him the tape that he was talking shit about them. But she lets it be known. She wanted to vote him out. And of him being CEO. I was like whoa. So they going to have this big vote. To vote Lucius down. I'm here for it. I'm I'm so here for it. Um. So then they announced video of the year. And Jamal and Hakeem um, got nominated. And then Jamal also got named, nominated by himself. So that was cool. Jamal and Sky. Oh, she questioned him about the guy at the bar. And then he was like, I don't know his name. But then she basically said that she don't want to change him. And she cool with it and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sitting there like, you don't want to change him. But okay. Because she was like, it's not like I was trying to be your girlfriend or act like your girlfriend he looked at her like bitch please yes you was and she was like well i'm like yeah you want that to be your boo thing until you knew he liked it more dick than pussy so you got a little offended i'm just saying hakeem and camilla they're talking she goes to see him he pissed off at her still from when she left 
And he think that she took the money that Lucius gave her. But she lets him know, I didn't take no money. You can ask your mama. And he was like, well, my mama lied to me. And I'm sitting there like, boy, don't act like you and your mama got along all the time on season one. Come on, you know your mama. Um, But she was saying how she still believes in him. And she's doing all of this for him and all this kind of stuff. He was like, you married? And she was like, yeah, but it's not like that. I did all this for you. So I was like, oh, shit, okay. Um, I was, I just can't wait to see the rest of that storyline. Y'all just don't know, because y'all know Lucius is burning up about <laughs> this situation. So, Cookie and Hakeem, they go to the prison, and Laura, I think that's her name. I always forget her name. But, they go to the prison, they do this show for, um, Cookie. And I liked how she did that speech about, you know, no judging, and everybody is there with a dream, and... You know, because a lot of times people, women be in prison, not over just not no evil, bad things. A lot of them go to prison probably most, most of the time over some damn man decision. But it's either killing a man, doing some shit for a man. Um, now, we do have some bitches in there doing some fucked up shit to kids. I ain't going to deny that. But a lot of times in the women prison, it's over like... Just a real messed up decision, a real messed up choice that they have made, and it lands them in there. So I did like that. This, you know, how she was saying that they were her sisters, and how she lost the cook, cookie cookout. But this was cool because at the beginning, she did ask Lucius for Leviticus. Can she have her concert there? And he turned her down because remember she didn't sign the papers for the music. But she was like, I wasn't gonna do that, and I wasn't mad at her for that. Um. But she was saying, telling the girls how they were sisters for life and stuff like that. So then she introduced Hakeem Lyon. And I said, I thought he dropped his name. But okay, he could be a lion today. Okay. So then, you know, I liked his speech about his dad took, you know, his dad never let him go, go visit his mom. But he's glad he has his mom back now and stuff like that. So that was really, really cool. Um, and then he performed to an old girl. Andre goes to the board and try to um, get them to change their mind. He went to this old man. Then Thirsty ass ate this woman out on the elevator to get her to change her mind. And she was like, yeah, you good, but not that goddamn good. I fell out. I was like, that's what his ass get. That is exactly what his ass get. He deserved that shit. Like, nigga, don't act like your tongue game. That motherfucking bomb. For, mm, I'm just saying. Dot to dudes thinking they sex game will make a bitch change their mind. Mm -mm. That's only gullible broads. Just saying. Um, but anyway, Andre goes to Cookie and let her and Hakeem know about Lucius, but she can't leave the prison. So he brought proxy papers where they can make decisions for her. So she leaves it in the hands of Hakeem, making the decisions for her. But she tells Hakeem, like, this is our legacy. Like, Lion Dynasty, you know what I'm saying? They just got that off. But Empire is their legacy. So make the right decision. He like, okay, I got you, Mom. Don't worry about it. Wah, wah, wah. So then she ended up going to talk to um, the brat, her homegirl Jazzy character. They going at it. Jazzy feels some kind of way because, Lu I mean, Lucius. Cookie never came to visit once she got out. They feel like you was talking about free Lucius, but you never was think talking about the women in here. And she was like, we can do that now. But Jazzy not feeling that. Jazzy was so pissed off at her because you're supposed to be cool with her. You're supposed to be road dogs, close sisters, whatever. But as soon as you got out, you didn't look back. And that's how she feel. Um, the board members have this meeting. And Lucius walking in all confident about how he only need one more vote. All oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. So, they was like, you got anything to say, Mimi? She was like, I said all I have to say. You got anything to say, Lucius? Let's start this meeting. Let's vote. Okay. So, they start voting. You know, people were saying who they were voting for. It gets to Hakeem and everything gets silent. Hakeem is about to vote and he start having all these flashbacks of all the shit Lucius have done to him season one and two. And, um, then you see, what's her name? Camilla walking in and standing there outside the room. And then you see 
Cookie walk up looking at her like, you bitch. But as soon as that happened, Cookie was like, no, Hakeem. And Hakeem was like, I. He voted his daddy ass out. And I was here for it. I wasn't mad. I wasn't saying all that fucked up. No, I was so here for Hakeem voting against his daddy. Lucius can't keep doing them like that because they're his kids and he and that's his business and he this and that. No, that's what your ass get. You dog your family out and then expect for them to jump and have be team family and team loyalty of family when you dog them the fuck out. You was just having this girl go against him. He was pissed off this episode because of Frida. He thought he was going to get the rap category, and Frida ended up getting the rap category. So that made him more mad. Like, you brought this girl in here to dog your son. You whooped his ass. You did all of this to him. Act like he wasn't your son. And then as soon as you needed him to vote, all all of a sudden he your son? I was so here for Hakeem not going, voting for um, his dad. Like, I was here for it. All right. Call me mean, call me fucked up, but I was so here for it. I'm tired of parents thinking that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do to kids and then be like, oh, well, I need you, so you're going to be here for me because I'm your parent. No, it doesn't work like that. And him, grown ass man, you can't dog a grown ass man and think, well, him, you know, he ain't that grown, but you can't dog a grown ass man and think it's going to go your way. It just doesn't work like that. Not in real life. Um, but so. He pissed, they pissed, brothers pissed, everybody pissed. Mimi is, was like, yep, your ass is out. And um, she was like, well, I got to go back. So I'm leaving my wife in charge of everything. Oh, that just made him hurt more. But I was here for it because I'm like, you kind of brought this on yourself. Karma's a bitch. I always tell y'all there's consequences to everything. And you brought this on yourself, Lucius. Like, you dogged that girl. You you made her leave your son. Pay back a bitch. Now she got your company. It's karma. I'm just saying. It's totally karma. Um. So the family is at Lucia's house pissed off. Everybody all drowned and feeling sorry for themselves and stuff and mad. Next thing you know, we're hearing a gun going off. Lucius is in the office shooting up his damn office. Cookie had to go in there and talk him down. Talk the gun out of his hand. He pissed off talking about he worked hard for all of this. She went to prison for 17 years for all of this. And I'm sitting there like, but you forgot the role you played in this, Lucius. You cannot. So I, he cannot solely blame this on Hakeem. When he did this to Hakeem, Mike, come on. Don't act like you was the father of the freaking year. I was so irritated with them trying to act like he didn't do nothing wrong. I really was. Um... But she talked him down and then made his ass wipe his face. She was like, boy, wipe your face. You got to go out there and be strong for your kids. Um, But then, as they all sitting around the house, and then it's a break-in at Andre house. Because, you know, remember the last time they, at the beginning, they were having problems with their alarm system. So, um, it was a break-in. Somebody broke in. And Rhonda walking around the house, you know, like, this damn alarm again. Oh, my God. Like, tripping off of that. And get to the edge of the stairs, and somebody push her down the stairs. I bet you, by bottom damn dollar, Anika pushed that girl down them damn stairs. Oh, jealous hoe. Um, but, yeah, she fucked her up. Did y'all see the way she fell down them stairs? She fucked herself up. That bitch have to be dead. In a coma. Something. If that ain't just lost no baby type shit. <laughs> but then I was like, do y'all... Nah, I I really hope she didn't pay nobody to do this so she could make it look like she lost a baby. I really pray that it was Onika that pushed her and her not pay somebody to make her look like she lost a baby. I don't know. I don't trust her either. I'm just saying. So then um, they announced the, the song of the year. And Lucius got it for boom, boom, boom. And Jamal ended up getting it. So Jamal was excited that, you know, him and his dad got it. Or whatever. And um, Lucius wasn't feeling it. Lucius was pissed off. Like, just some bullshit. But that's my review for Empire Season 2, Episode 10. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. It's been a journey. I'm glad my hair back. I'm just saying, y'all just don't know. My scalp is so tender right now. But I'm so happy my hair back. Anyway, 
Follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, I will be right back for my Westbrook's review, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace out.